Okay. Um, hi, everyone. Uh, thank you uh, for joining us. Uh, we're going to try this experiment for Young Mudo to try to do some uh, workouts. Um, I know a lot of people are able to get in their own workouts of various kinds, um, but still want something like Young Mudo workouts to make us do the things that we don't always really want to do. Um, here's my goal for today. Um, I have it taped to the uh, 12 pound weight. Um, not that I'm using that today, it's just, just take to it. Um, so hopefully everyone has some light weights of some kind. I'm thinking something like two to three pounds or even one to three pounds is fine. We'll call a medium weight of three to five to eight pounds, maybe something heavier for today, 15 if you really want to. Um, also having like a pair of socks that you can put out on the floor uh, so that we can use it for some of the footwork drills that we're gonna focus a lot on today. Um, my goal is to do like a 40 to 60 minute workout. I don't know exactly how long this is going to take, um, but I want to do a bit of a warm up. Um, some of that's not really much stretching in that section, just some general warm up stuff. Uh, then we'll transition to a technique uh, area and then finish up with some light stretching. Um, the technique area, I'm going to try to keep it more of a workout and not teaching. It's hard to teach on Zoom. Um, I can't see what people are doing if I'm over there trying to show you what I'm doing. Um, and it's probably particularly hard to stop and answer questions. Um, but what I'll try to do is demonstrate what I'm planning to do, see if there are any really quick questions or ask for someone to show it, ask for me to show it again, and then we'll just get into the workout. Um, when we do the technical stuff, what I'm going to try to do is flip flop uh, between a couple of different things so we can uh, get a couple different muscle groups, um, rest stuff alternately, and then take little breaks. Um, so I also have a few water breaks, a couple water breaks mixed into the 45, 50 minutes of the workout. Um, so I hope everyone has space. I've got a little bit more here than you probably do, but this way I can orient uh, and show you things from different directions. Um, any questions before we start? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, let's see, anything else? Um, oh yeah, no pressure. Um, do the best you can, do the best with the space you can, do the best with the materials you have. Uh, this is really just about um, everyone trying to get themselves going and give you something to work on uh, rather than trying to teach or, you know, advance our skill necessarily. We're just trying to stay with it and keep ourselves going. So whatever you can do, that's cool. All right. Um, okay. So everyone back up, find some space. And we're gonna start off nice and easy um, with jumping jacks. So uh, if you wanna count with me, then hey, that's great. So we're gonna start off with jumping jacks. Ready? One, two, three, three four, four, five, five six, 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 seven, seven eight, eight, nine, ten, nine, 11, 11, 12, 12 13, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, circuits. Um, we're going to go from crunches to squats to back arches to push-ups. We're going to do that three times. Four exercises, three times each. 20 squat, uh, 20 crunches or sit-ups of your choice. 20 squats of your choice. 20 back arches of your choice. If you want to do 10 left, 10 right, 20 whole body, uh, leg raises, whatever it is, that's fine and then 10 push-ups, and I'm gonna take those nice and slow. I'm trying to rehab a shoulder injury, so I wanna get a nice good uh, squeeze on that. So, find your space. We're gonna start off with crunches of your choice. So, I'm gonna start off nice and simple. Legs up, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 
and up to thin. Easy squat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, back arches of your choice. I'm gonna alternate left and right. So I'm gonna bring up one leg and one arm, uh, opposite leg and arm, and then the other side for the next set. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch sides. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Push ups. Ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. First set is done. Will, would you care to count out the next set? Sure. All right. Crunches of your choice, or sit-ups, or leg lifts of your choice. All right, here we go. In position, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And we're doing squats after that? Squats. Squats. Up on your feet and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And in position for back arches. The floor, first one side. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Push up position. We'll count down. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. We're done. Good. All right. Next set. Um, Amanda, would you call them out? Okay. I can't, I can't hear Amanda. Oh, <laughs> Amanda might be muted. <laughs> I muted myself. <laughs> there we go. All right. Into crunch position. Uh, any kind of crunch or ab to start you decide to do. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20. Up to a squat position. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And down in uh, back raised position. With one side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch to the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then push up position. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Thank you, everyone. Okay. Next, we're going to work to some shadow boxing. So go over, find your, uh, your weights appropriate to shadow boxing. Probably they're pretty light. Um, one pound is perfectly good. I'm gonna be using three pounders. If you're feeling really strong, go ahead and grab your fives. All right, so um, hopefully you've got your weights. Um, we're gonna start off with some easy jab crosses. So just a couple things to think about as we're doing this. One, the feet. Let's try to stay up a little bit on the balls of our feet, not flat-footed as much as we can, okay? If your heels are touching, that's okay, but let's try to make the, the feet active. All right, number two, on the punches, we want to extend out, turning over, keeping the hands high. But one thing I want you to think about is not uh, hyper-extending your own elbows. Instead, what I'd like to do is pull back a little bit at the end. Feel kind of the weight jerking your hand as you extend out and pull it back. Extend out and pull it back. So your attractions are as powerful as your extensions, okay? So we're gonna start off with easy jab cross. If you've got a little bit of space to move around in, that's right, go ahead and do that. All right, ready. So on your own, I'm not gonna call it out, just start moving around, jab cross. Try to get in another five jab crosses each side. All right, good, good, looking good. At least what I can see in the little one inch square pictures. Um, <laughs> So let's go ahead and add in a little bit of other handwork stuff. You've got the jab cross, that's great. You can throw in some uppercuts. They're gonna come off the, the, the leg, the whole leg driving up into it. Or hooks, body, head. Let's try to get that arm as flat as you can as you come in. You can also just come in with easy elbows, okay? Coming around, down, up, all right? So we're going to start moving around, jab, crosses, hooks, uppercut, elbow, 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 on your own, warming up. Let's go. <laughs> Good. 
right, now start adding in some easy knee thrusts. So you're gonna throw still your handwork, grab onto someone, you're holding the weight, pull this knee up, push it forward. Step forward or dump. Boom. Nice easy knee thrust added in your handwork. All right, let's go. <laughs> Now start adding in easy front kicks. Trying to get extension on these kicks, extension and space that you have. You may be pretty limited. Maybe just worry about your moving around. That's all. Take what you got. All right, looking good, looking good. Let's go ahead and add in roundhouse kicks and side kicks of your choice. You're still warming up. Just think about extension into these techniques so you're not worried too much about power, not too much about speed. Get the most you can out of it. Jabs, crosses, hooks, knees, elbows, front kicks, roundhouse kicks, side kicks. <sighs> Okay, keep going. I'm going to walk in just to watch what you guys are doing. Keep going. Keep going. Don't stop, Will. <laughs> There we go. There we go. Good. All right. Remember to keep those hands up. Okay. 30 more seconds. Keep those hands up. And stop. All right, take your weights, put them down, if you wish. Stop, grab your bottle of water. We're gonna take 10, 20, maybe 30 seconds to let this work its way through, okay? So just... All right, so while you're resting for a few seconds, I'll keep talking. Sorry. Um, here's what we're going to do next. We're going to get into our technical section. Um, we are about 20 minutes into the workout, maybe 25, uh, depending on the start time. Um, so here's what we're going to do is we're going to do the technical section. We're going to be working on throws today. So you're going to grab your socks. I want you to lay them down. Slightly wider than shoulder width, okay? Give yourself something to look at, okay? I'm choosing white socks here so you can still see my spots on the ground. Um, I've got an extra pair just so I can rotate axes pretty easily. Um, you can see about the width of these socks is, you know, a little more than shoulder width. That's all right. When people start getting low for their, for their uh, standing throws or trying to work takedowns, they are going to get wider as they get lower, so that's okay. It's nice and... Uh, realistic, I think. We're going to do some footwork for throws, and then in between that footwork, we're going to take our light weights, and we're going to do some plank rows, so we can work on a little bit of core and upper body for the throws, okay? So we're going to do some plank rows. If you wish, you can go all the way up and back down, all the way up and back down. 
I haven't talked numbers yet. So here's what we're going to start with. The first one is a fit in for a floating hip throw or ukigoshi. The basic idea on this is I've got my person here, two hands, collar, sleeve. So the low one is the sleeve for right now. Slight step in, pull them into me in here. Okay. And this is basically where we're going right in here. I'm trying to maintain a little bit of pull away and come in, okay? I do have a practice partner real quick. So the basic idea, you can watch from behind, is I've got the grab here. I'm going to step in front, reach around, grab, pull him in or her in here. Boom. Boom. And then the idea of the throw is, I'm here, I'm going to turn my hip and throw. All right, so dummy off to the side. We're going to start off with 15 on the left, 15 on the right, 10 left, 10 right. On the first 15, the first five, take them slow. That's what we're all going to do. So you're going to have time, you're just going to go one, two. It's going to be about this pace. That's all right. All right, from this direction, one, two, one, two. All right, we're ready. We're going to start 15, turning to our left first, the first five nice and slow, and then we'll pick up the pace for the second, for the last 10. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Now you're starting to get it. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 15. And now we're going to switch to the turning to the right, the right side. Nice and slow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, good. And now back to the left, turning to the left, 10 quick ones. Ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And now on the right, I'm gonna switch over my other socks. On the right side, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, grab your medium weight, light weight, down for plank rows. Right hand is supporting you. If you wish to do this on your knees, that's totally fine. If you want to do it down on your elbow, that's also fine. Don't worry, just do the best you can. And one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, six seven. Eight, nine, ten. Good. All right. And stop. Okay. Next, we're going to move to a second throw. This one is shoulder throw, one arm shoulder throw. So it's a very similar setup. We're going to start here. This time, instead of reaching around the waist or keeping the hand on the collar, that arm is going to come underneath their arm as we pull, and I'm going to turn more completely. I want to try to keep back straight, a little bit of lean forward, so I'm staying very high in the balls of my feet. As I come in, I have just a little bit of lean forward. Okay? So we're going to do start on the left side, 15, whatever, 1 5. Uh, first five slow, then the second 10 will be a little bit faster. 
Ready. One, two, three, four, five, six, go faster. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And now switch it to the right side. Grabbing the sleeve, if you're holding onto the collar, you're going to let go. Drop the hand through. One, two, two, three, four, five, six, speed up seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, good. Back to the left, 10 nice quick ones. Keep on Sionage. Grabbing the sleeve, grabbing the collar. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and right side. Grabbing the sleeve, grabbing the collar. Ready. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Plank rows. We're waiting left hand. Right side down on the ground, whether it's hand or elbow, doesn't matter. And face in the ground. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switching sides. Right hand holding the weight. Left side on the ground. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. And up to a stand. And take ten seconds. Rest. Grab water if you wish. You can also take a little towel. You know, dab your forehead. Get that little bit of sweat off. Uh, here's my shout out to UCSD. I still have this towel so many years later. Thank you. All right. Next. Uh, we have two more, uh, we'll see, maybe two more throws. I think we can fit in two more throws. So the next one I want to work on is forward body drop, Tayotoshi. We're going to start in, again, holding sleeve and collar. This time we want this collar hand to stay really strong, even stronger than before. Yes, we always want a good strong grip whenever we're holding anything, but this one is going to be a nice big driver. Instead of stepping in, this time we're going to step back. At this point, I've jacked up my opponent. I pulled out here, and now we're going to do the dropping portion of the throw as I step back, for, uh, back towards them a bit. So I'm stepping to the outside but also back a little bit. So from here, I'm going one, two. Over here, I'm going one, two. All right, so we're gonna try forward body drop, and we're gonna keep it, first five, turning to the left, nice easy pace, last 10, a little bit faster, and we'll come back to it again just like we did before. So ready, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 
15. Now we're going to switch to the other side. Right side. Turning to the right. Nice and easy. One, two. Again, one, two. Ready. Starting our 15. One, two, three, four, five. A little faster. Sit. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, all right, turning again to the left, 10 for the quick ones, ready, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. And back to the right. Ready. One. Two. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Good. Flip rows. Um, can I ask you a quick question on that? What's that? Can I ask you a quick question on this? Yeah. Okay, so I noticed that instead of stepping in for the first, you're just instantly going step back, so you're cutting out the first step in. Um, just trying it up, or just for purposes of this exercise? Just a different entry. Okay. So for me, I've found more success with this entry for this throw than the step in entry. And okay. that's, just, that's just what I prefer, okay? Okay, and then the second question is, as you're stepping, so say if your person's on this line, as you're stepping back and behind, are you stepping behind this line into them, or are you still in front of them a little bit? I am I'm trying to put that foot that splits out uh -huh. a little behind them. Okay. So, um, I mean, this is the best, uh, let me rotate slightly. Maybe that'll help a little bit. But I'm starting here. I've got my grip. First, I'm here. My foot's okay. yeah, pretty, pretty close. Left foot almost in front of their left foot, maybe a little bit to the outside. Now the second foot is sliding here, and I'm stepping back into them just a little bit as I drop. Okay. Okay. And then last question, sorry, the, yeah. the arm, um, the arm that comes through, how you're yeah. pulling in and close, are you aiming to pull basically a straight line of their lapel, I guess we'll do it this side, their lapel past your chest and forward, are you still getting more of the art coming through? Um, without a partner, I'm probably pulling this arm down too much. Okay. Um, if I've got them here, what I really want you to think about is a strong lift up here on the lapel side. Okay. Other hand should still be pulling forward. And then as I step out and back, I'm dropping and turning that wheel and pulling through here. Okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, plank rows. Did we do them on this throw? No. We did not. Right, no, not yet. Rows in. All right. Right side down, holding the weight in your left. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switching sides. Left side on the ground, weight in your right hand. And one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. All right. 
Next throw. I got one more throw to work on. For this, I'm gonna add in a third sock. You can use your weight if you want it. I'm trying to make a, uh, a right angle here so that I can stand in front of the first person. We're gonna do minor inner reef. So I'm gonna step back here, pulling my partner with me. And then as this right foot goes from here to here, I'm gonna try to sweep it out. So we're facing, we're gonna turn one, two. One, two. All right, that's left side. One second, the weather out here. I promise I've been in isolation, I'm not sick. You can't catch it via Zoom anyway, so we're all good. <laughs> okay, at least that's what, that's what the mainstream media tells me. All right, so we're gonna be moving to our left first. Left foot steps back, right foot catches their advancing right foot. All right, nice and slow. One, two, three, four, five, a little faster, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, we're gonna to switch to our right side. So we're gonna pull back on the right side, step back with the right foot. Left foot is sweeping out the advancing left foot. Ready, one. Two, three, four, five, a little faster, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, sorry for that, 9, 15, good, all right, back to the other side, 10, quick ones, turning to the left, ready, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, Nine, ten, and down. Back to the right side. And ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Good. And plank rows, last set. Whew. Grab your weight. Right side down, knees or feet if you wish, or elbows. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Switching sides. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. Up to a stand. All right, how are we doing? Doing good. Yeah? Feeling good. Time for one more exercise before we stretch? Sure. Yes, no, yes. Yes! All right. So this one's gonna be uh, 
pretty easy. Um, we're not going to do too many. Get rid of my socks. Uh, these are called Turkish get ups. All right. So here's the basic idea. I'm going to lie down with my medium sized weight in my hand. Okay. I can start lying here on my side or you can lie flat on your back with the weight kind of resting right here. So from here, we're doing a modified version. Uh, good for us in martial arts. So what we're going to do from here is we are going to extend the arm, sit up, get this hand underneath us, and then we're doing a version of a getting up to base where I'm going to take this right foot out here and I'm going to pull it straight back, come all the way up here. Now I can go down to my knee, hand comes down, sit back down, lie back down, arm comes back down, and that is one, okay? So one more time, hand is, weight is resting right here, maybe on, your, on the edge of your chest, arm comes up, sit up, body comes up, leg comes back, stand all the way up, knee comes down, hand comes down, leg goes out, fly back down, and that's one. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do 10 left, 10 right, and then get to stretching so we're not running out of time here. So, ready. And one. And down. And two, coming up. Two, coming down. Three, coming up. Three, coming down. Four, coming up. Four, down, five, up. Five, six, up. Six, down. Seven, up. Seven, down. Eight, up. Eight, down. Two more on this side. Nine, up. Nine, down. One more on this side. Ten, up. Ten, down. Oh. Jesus, Rob. And again, as a reminder, got the hand in my right hand, the weight in my right hand. The arm comes up first. Sit up, hand comes down, body comes up, leg comes back, come up to a stand. You can go knee down first or just put the hand down. Lie down, back down, arm down. <sighs> and then you get a rest for like half a second. We're at just 10 and then we're gonna do our stretching. So one up, one down, two up. Two down, three up, three down, four up, four down, five up, five down, six up, six down, Seven up, seven down, eight up, eight down, two more, nine up, nine down, ten up, last one, ten down. Oh. Yes. All right, grab a cup, quick drink of water, and we'll do five, seven minutes stretching to warm down. I really, I really wish I had music going at this point. Something to kind of fill that dead air space. Okay. Find a little bit of space again. 
and we're going to start off with net, big circles, eyes open. Don't just let it hang. Try to pull it. Engage the muscles. Switch direction. Good, and just the shoulders, big circles. As big as you can make them, squeezing the shoulder blades back, coming up high, squeezing the chest forward, nice and big. Switch directions. Good, the whole arm, easy circles, big circles forward. Work our way down to smaller circles, faster circles, nice fast circles here. Switch direction, slightly bigger and bigger and slower circles, trying to get that range of motion as much as you can. Good, easy chain breakers, forwards and back. Don't try to clap behind. Try to think about getting different angles a little bit for an active stretch. Make sure that you're getting the stretch, but also engaging those back muscles. Good, grab the right arm, pull it across. And release, now the left arm, pull it across. If things are reversed in the video, don't worry about which side you're doing, just make sure you get equals on both sides. Good, now easy back twists. As I'm doing this, I'm thinking a little bit more about those fit-ins that we we're doing on judo. So I'm making this a kind of a slower strength oriented squeeze instead of a twisting stretch. And down to the hips, try to keep your head in one direction. Now that you're on film, you can re really see if you're doing that chicken dance thing. It's chicken dance, chicken, whatever, I don't know. What is it called? It's the chicken dance. The chicken dance, thank you. All right, and down to your knees. So when something's popping up on my screen. Oh, okay. That's a text message okay all right ankles try to stand in one place five circles clockwise five counterclockwise paint as big a circle as you can there with your big toe you're trying to get some strength and range of motion on that ankle and switch sides again with your hands you can kind of let them be dead you can kind of do the whole balance thing, or you can kind of pretend you're a nice little Muay Thai fighter and get those hands up. It's good practice anyway, keeping those hands up. Good, okay, reaching up, easy stretch of the side, coming forward, maybe coming back a little bit, getting both sides. Remembering to breathe. Good. All right, feet about shoulder width apart, hands reaching up, fold down towards your toes. Try to reach down as best you can. From here, slide the hands up your shins to straighten out your back, and then try to fold a little bit more, trying to keep the back straight. So you're engaging the pelvis, stretching the backs of your legs. And bend the knees, ragdoll up, nice and slow. Hands come up, forward fold again. And slide up the shins, elongating the back, straightening it, engaging the back muscles, and now fold again, try to keep the back straight. Bend the knees, ragdoll up. Good, from here, cross right leg over left, hanging down, feeling a stretch shift to the outside of the left hip, maybe a little bit of hamstring. 
and switch right over left, uh, sorry, left over right. Good, and untangle from here. Uh, let me situate myself. All right, one more, hands reaching up, forward fold, walk the hands out to a high plank, hold the high plank, rock back to a downward dog so you can stretch out the calves. It's not important to get those heels on the ground. You don't have to reach, just easy push. Okay, just do the best you can. Shoulders down and back, tailbone high, feel the stretch. Walk it out a little bit if you wish. Relax one of those legs so you can shift the weight and the stretch the other leg. And from here, we're going to take our right foot, step forward, come up into a side kick stretch. Some people might call it warriors or whatever, but we're doing a side kick stretch. I want you to drop that hip down, lean back a little bit, feel the stretch on that inner thigh. And turn completely to your right, roll up onto the ball of the back foot, stretching the front of the left hip. From here, drop your chest down to the ground. Right arm is gonna go underneath and around the right leg, dropping the chest down. You want to hold that knee off the ground for a moment. And now put it down and relax into it. Good, now untangle those hands a little bit, step back to downward dot. Repeat it one more time. This time what we're gonna do is we're gonna step forward with the left leg. Come up into a side stretch on the other side. Drop the hip down. Roll up onto the ball of your foot. And drop the chest down. Left arm goes underneath and around the left leg. Drop your chest down. Try to keep that right knee off the ground for another, for, for a moment or two. Now relax, put that right knee on the ground, drop the chest and hip a little bit lower. Untangle those hands, step back, downward dog, high plank, drop down to a low plank, and from here, hands down on the ground, easy cobra, gentle backs, we'll call it a Back loosening, let the glutes and the lower back muscles relax. Good, and from here, just sit up. Let's go butterfly stretch for just a moment. Bounce it out. Pushing those knees down. Reaching the chest forward. and relax and that puts us at an hour so i'm going to scoot in a little bit just say thank you again to everyone for joining us what we're going to try to do is post this up on youtube so that you can share it with other people and your other students at your schools and uh hopefully we'll get something out of it so let us know how this worked for you certain exercises are great if you have any questions email us at phillyyoungwido at gmail.com and uh Hope to see you again soon. Thanks, guys. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye, everyone.